Hey, it's Sharon. Today's workout is butts and guts. You don't need any weights, but I'm going to grab a light to moderate weight. I'm also going to grab my ankle weights and have a chair handy. If you have a mat, grab that too, or have a soft surface to work out on. Let's get started. Thank you for coming to work out with me today. Welcome back to my community of fitness enthusiasts. And if you're here for the first time, welcome also. So like I said at the op opening, we're doing butts and guts. Okay, we're doing glutes and abs, just to play on words here. We're only gonna need weights for a couple of the exercises. So I grabbed a eight pound weight and a 15 pound weight. That's all you need. If you don't have weights, it's absolutely no problem. And a couple of the exercises, I'll be using my ankle weights. Again, you don't need to have them. If you are interested in ankle weights, I'll have a link below. You might wanna take a look at that if, you want, if, if you're interested in ankle weights. So we're gonna get started with the warm up, and I'll tell you a little bit more about the exercises. All right, let's march. So we're gonna do five exercises in the first set. We're gonna do each for 40 seconds with a 20 second break. Repeat that exercise before we move on to the next. The next six exercises will be on the mat. And again, we'll go through them. I always show you modifications in proper form. So I targeted this channel for women 40 and over because that's when I started working out. Let's twist. But I think with proper form and modification shown, any age group and fitness level can do these exercises. All right, we're gonna go big swings back and big swings forward. All right, we're gonna go side to side lunges. So you do warm ups at the beginning of your exercise to rev up your cardiovascular system and get your blood flow going to those muscles. And you do static stretches at the end where you hold a muscle pose after you've exercised. And I hope you've come to this channel because my goals here for you, and I hope they're your goals, are to get leaner, stronger, build stamina, and live a healthier lifestyle. So that's what this channel's about. Let's do those big arm swings back, reaching back. So we're concentrating on our glutes or our butts, but we're also gonna be working out our legs because everything is connected to your um, glutes and your butts. And obviously your core is engaged too when you're working out these exercises. You're gonna really be feeling all your core in most of all of these exercises. I always say you don't need to do core exercises just on the mat. All right, reaching out. Breathe through it. We're just warming up, getting ourselves going. All right, let's bring those legs up. We're gonna reach, hold, and bring it down. Reach, hold, and bring it down. So I've been a personal tra trainer for over 12 years, and I wanted to share my passion and, um, passion and knowledge of fitness with you. I'd like to be your personal trainer. All right, we're gonna get started, but I want first, can you give us a thumbs up after this um, workout's done? Leave comments how you feel about this workout. Love to hear those comments. Please subscribe to my channel because we would like to grow this community of fitness enthusiasts. Hit that notification bell and you'll be alerted when more videos are posted. And remember to visit my website. I have a lot of useful information on that. All right, we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna bring in my chair. And I really wanted to emphasize squats today. Squats are really important um, exercise when you wanna work out your butts, your butt. So um, you really wanna have a chair to make, it's a great way to learn how to do a squat properly. So we're not gonna sit down on the chair, but we're gonna use it as our kind of leverage to make sure that we're keeping our knees um, behind our toes. So for example, I'm gonna have my feet about hip width apart. I'm gonna come down. So I've got to back up a little bit. I want to almost be sitting. So if you notice, my knees are behind my toes. Sometimes if you don't have that reference, you, sometimes you'll end up kneel, going forward with your knees. It's really important to make sure you drive your glutes backwards. So I'm going to show you modifications before every exercise during that 20 seconds. Remember, you can always hit pause. If you have knee issues, don't go down as far. That's my best um, advice to you. Go where you feel you can go. All right, we all got it. Give a thumbs up, let's get going. 40 seconds on the clock and let's go. So again, you might have to adjust yourself. I'm gonna reach my hands forward. I always find this helps me drive my glutes backwards. So I'm coming down, I'm not quite sitting, hovering and coming straight up. Again, if you're right here, that is absolutely fine. You're still engaging your glute muscles. So squats and later on when we get to the mat and bridges are one of the best two exercises to do for your um, glutes. 
But again, engaging your legs are just gonna help also. We're gonna go through this nice and slow, a one, two count up, a one, two count down. And breathe through it, reach, we're almost there. And one more, we got one more round of that. So I hope you got that form down. Take a look at yourself when you're doing it. Make sure those knees stay behind the, your toes. All right, breathe it out. Hopefully the chair is helping you as a reference. All right, we're gonna get ready, get myself in position. Almost there. And let's start. So I'm reaching and coming up, driving those glutes backwards. Again, right here is fine. We just control it so we don't, we don't wanna be doing this because then we're just using momentum. I want you to feel that in your glutes. You're gonna feel it in the back of your legs too, and come on up. When I come up, I'm bringing my shoulders back, so I don't wanna hunch. I don't wanna be like this. Body alignment is so important when you're working out, and it's hard to see yourself when you're working out, especially when you're watching a video. So I hope my guidance will help you readjust your body as you're doing it. We're almost there. And we're done. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick drink of water and then we're gonna take the chair out. Let's put it over here. Okay, so we're gonna be doing lunging, um, lunging twists. So I'm gonna grab moderate weight and eight, we're gonna come forward and twist and come back. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. Here, twist and come back. We're switching feet, push, twist, and come back. Again, you can just step it if you don't want to do that lunge and come back and push. All right, so choose which one works for you. Make sure those feet are going in the same direction. So I don't want my feet crooked. And breathe through it. Reach and pull. You're twisting at that core. We're almost there. And one more. All right, we have another round. Again, you can, not, you can just choose to not use the weight. That's absolutely fine. Find what works for you. All right, let's step it out. We're gonna be starting soon. Remember, a little 20 second break in between. Get in position. Almost there. Let's get started now. Out, twist. Feel that in your core as you twist. You're working the side of your core, which are your obliques. Push, twist. Oh, I almost fell over. Find that center of gravity. This is a great exercise, creates some instability, fires up that core. We want to learn balance as we're getting older. Prevent those injuries, those falls. Twist, whoops. So you feel a little bit, when you do that twist, sometimes you're gonna, you feel like you're pulling yourself over. Try to control that twist. We're almost there. And back, great. Grab a drink of water, I'll show you the next exercise. We're gonna do plie squats. My feet are out, my toes are out. I'm gonna come down. When I come up, I'm gonna come up with my toes. If you wanna just do regular squats, that's fine also. You don't need a weight either. This is just giving added resistance. Ready? And let's go. So down, you can come up on your toes if you choose to, or just keep a flat foot. The big key here is I want you to see I'm sitting upright. So I'm keeping my shoulders back and my chest out. I'm gonna readjust my feet a little bit so I can go up on my toes. I wanna engage those calf muscles too. So you're gonna be feeling this in your glutes, in your butt. Reach and down, nice and controlled. Feel that in your quads too, the upper part of your leg. And breathe. We're almost there. And one more. I like routines like this where you're isolating just two muscle groups. They're very intertwined. Our butts and our abs are one area, so we're supporting each other. So it's good to add these into a workout to work them together. Let's get into ready. Get in position, look at your feet, and let's go. Down, up on those toes if you want to. Alternate it if you want to also. So keep that core nice and strong, and use those legs and those glutes. When you come up, squeeze those glutes. 
You can feel that right in your butt. Squeeze. And breathe through it. Up and down control. And we're almost there. Hold on to it. Great. All right, we're moving on. Okay, we're going to do a lunge back. So I'm going to lunge back, lift, and we're going to repeat the other side in the second set. Again, you can just tap back and lift. You don't have to do the lunge if that's too difficult. Get ready. I'm going to start with my right leg, and I'm going to lunge. Then I'm coming up and lifting it. Coming back to that lunge, up and lift it. Again, you can stand here and just lift. Find what works for you. Now I'm using my arms as balance. And again, you could grab that chair if you want to. Down and up, nice and slow. We're doing two rounds on one leg. So we're exhausting that muscle out. Lift. Feel that imbalance. Try to use that core. Keep control. And go, whoops. We're almost there. And one more. Great. We've got one more round on this side. Definitely feel that. You, I mean, I'm definitely struggling trying to keep that balance as I come up and lift that leg. We're creating even more imbalance to fire up those muscles. All right, let's get in position. Remember, you can just stand and lift. Get ready. Let's go. So down and lift. And again, you can go down as far as you want to. Sometimes I even have some knee issues and I have to modify what I'm doing. Control. Feel all that in your glutes and your legs. Pull it up. Use those arms. And again, grab that chair if you need to. Feel like I'm flying. Come up and down. Hold on to it. We're almost there. A couple more. Then we'll switch to the other leg and one more. All right, we're going to switch to the other side. Same exercise. We're coming down and lifting. Again, you can use the chair if you want to or do that modification stand and lift. Shout out to my good friend, Kristen. We've been working out together pretty hard and she's enjoying the videos too. All right, down. Ooh, one side's always a little bit trickier than the other. Muscle memory will kick in. Hopefully, push. What's funny is that my right leg is my stronger leg, but I definitely felt that imbalance. Lift, keeping those shoulders back and keeping that chest out. Now I'm all about proper alignment. Keep that head in alignment with your spine. We're gonna have to look at each other from time to time, but try to bring that head back and lift. Let me know how you did on this one. I'm definitely a little wiggly. We're almost there. And one more. I got one more round. Grab your water if you need to. Put hit pause if you need to. And then we'll get right back into it. After this exercise, we'll be heading to the mat. Oh, I'm feeling the heat. So isn't it funny you still sweat when you're doing um, weight training? All right, we're getting ready. And let's go. So down left. Remember, you could be here. That's absolutely fine. You could try a couple, see how it goes, and then switch to whichever one works better for you. And lift. So we're actually engaging our upper body too with these arms out. They're helping us keep steady. So you think of the core as this one unit right here, but it actually is your core, your diaphragm, your lower body. It's all connected. Nice, strong core. Feel that in your glutes. When we come back in that lunge, you're feeling that in your glutes. We're almost there. And one more. Great, let's head down to the mat. All right, we're on the mat. I am gonna grab my ankle weights. Again, you don't need them. If you just happen to have a pair, grab them. So we're gonna do a bridge, which again, are great exercises for your glutes. I'm gonna show you without the ankle weights first. We're gonna be here. I'm gonna cross my leg over and all we're gonna do is lift. So we're creating instability, firing up our core, working out our glutes. So I'm gonna put on these ankle weights. 
Um, again, if you don't have ankle weights, that's fine. If you don't want to um, crisscross your leg, then I want you to um, just do regular bridges. So you just keep both feet on the ground. So you can just do this up and down, or we're going to do the crossover. Now, I'm, we're going to do this exercise. Um, we're going to repeat it on the other side. So if you're just doing bridges, then keep on with those bridges. Okay, 40 seconds on the clock and let's go. So I'm lifting up, making sure I bring my glutes all the way up and come all the way down. Up and down, nice and slow and control. If you want, put your hand on your core, on those guts, and feel that. You're gonna feel how strong your core is as you come up. Lift those glutes. I don't want you to be here when you're lifting your glutes. I want you to really push it up. You want a nice straight line from your knee to your shoulder. So push up and down. Control, so you come all the way back down to that mat. Again, creating that instability. So I'm trying to keep my hips square with the ceiling. We're almost there. And one more. Okay, we're gonna do the same side again. March it out if you want, shake out your legs. We're gonna go right back to that. Okay, so bring your leg over. We're gonna get ready. Whew, take a deep breath. And make sure your foot is facing this way. And let's go, lift up and down. Push all the way to the ceiling. Lift those glutes, lift that core. Up and down. Again, put that hand here if you want. Feel your core engaged. Push. Now again, you could just do regular bridges. That's absolutely fine. You're still gonna engage those glutes. And lift. I like this exercise. It's just a nice variety on a bridge. You could definitely feel the balance, you're really firing up that core, trying to keep your body um, straight, not trying to tilt it. We're almost there. And one more. I'm gonna switch it around to the other side so you can see this leg. Grab your um, water if you need to, hit pause if you need to. I'll bring my left leg over my right. And let's get ready. All right, and up. So push, come all the way down. I hope you see I'm really pushing up my core, pushing up those glutes to the ceiling. Lift, now keep those shoulders on the mat. So when you lift, you don't wanna lift your shoulders up with that leg. Push your shoulders into the mat and lift up your leg and lift up your core. And control, nice and slow. Weight training's all about getting rid of the momentum. You don't want to do anything like this, because again, then we're just using momentum. There are some exercises we will do that with for cardio. We're almost there. All right, we got one more to go. So weight training, you will burn calories for 48 hours after you weight train. I don't think a lot of people realize how much you will burn in that time. I think people tend to think of weight loss with cardio. Weight training is equally as important, so make sure you do both. Let's get in position, take a deep breath, and go. Lift, breathe through it. Try and really lift it up. So we're gonna come up here and hesitate for a second and take a look. Are you have a nice straight line from your knee all the way down to your shoulder? So keep that in mind as you're doing this exercise. Try not to use my hands to push up, really trying to concentrate using my core and my glutes. Lift. Nice and controlled. I want to really feel that extension in my glutes. Should be feeling this on the back of your legs too. We're almost there. Great. Okay, I think I'm going to take off my ankle weights. Yep. Take these off. Okay. So we are going to do, oh, let's see. Um, I think we're going to stick with the bridge, but now we're going to do it in a different way. All right, come on down. We're going to lift our legs straight up to the ceiling. That's all. Go back to bridges if you need a modification. We're going to press up and down. Now we're just activating our glutes in a different way. So we're pressing that heel into the ceiling and coming down. Again, lift. So two glutes in a row or two bridges in a row. That's a lot. Keep going, press. 
Now again, if you want to go back to those bridges, that's absolutely fine with your leg down. Press that to the ceiling. I really wanted to activate our glutes on this one, doing two bridges in a row. Push. Breathe through it. Feel that core. And one more. Okay, definitely shake that out. We're definitely working out those glutes. Let's just sit up for a second. We're gonna do that again. Again, you can just do the regular bridges. All right, come back down. Let's get in position. We'll get off of this weight in, a, in the next exercise. All right, one more time on this leg, and then we'll switch it over. And go, press, up and down. Lift, so now you've got the bridge down, hopefully. You've got that nice straight line. Just feel that instability, that core firing up. Keeping those glutes up, push and down. And control. Oh, our core is definitely gonna feel this after these two bridges. And lift. Try not to use my hands to push myself up. And go. We're almost there. I'm gonna switch it to the other side. Okay, let's switch it around. Grab that water if you need to. And come on to this side. Okay, let's get in position. Left leg is up this time. <sighs> All right, get ready. This is it, two rounds and then we're moving on. And go, press up, reach that ceiling. Keep those hips squared to the ceiling. So as I press up, I don't wanna twist either way. I wanna make sure I keep myself going straight to that ceiling. Lift and down, press. Keep those shoulders down. I'm even readjusting myself, I can feel it getting tired from these bridges. <laughs> Push. Now remember, at any time, you can stop, take a breather, and get right back into it. We all have different abilities. We all get tired at different times while we're exercising. Don't get discouraged. It's part of exercising. We're almost there. And one more. We all get tired. I, this morning, I worked out with some people and I was tired. I had to stop. So don't feel bad if you have to stop and you can always hit pause and then come right back into it. Okay, last round on these bridges. Coming up, let's get in position. Let's get this done. And press up and down. Keep going. And breathe through it. Heads up, we're doing hydrants next, in case you know what those are. We'll be on our hands and knees. Press. Keep going, control it. Now, have you ever worked out and you get to the end and you're just tired and you just wanna rush through it? Well, that's what I'm kind of feeling right now, but I'm gonna control it, slow my body down. We're almost there. And one more. I don't know about you all, but I'm sweating from that one. All right, let's take a um, quick drink of water. We're gonna take a quick little break. So we're not gonna go right into our next one. Let's just take a drink of water because I wanna get this one set up. If you have ankle weights, or if you have even those circular bands, you can put them on, circular bands, you put it across, uh, across your quads. I put, put my ankle weights on. Okay, so we're gonna do hydrants. I will switch around when I do the other side. So your arms should be below your shoulders. Your um, legs should be about hip width apart. We're gonna lift up one leg and come straight down. We're gonna do two times on that leg, 40 seconds, 20 seconds off. If you don't wanna lift that high, that's fine. The modification, go back to those bridges if you have shoulder issues or if this bothers you. All right, 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. Lift and down, control. So when you put a weight on your um, leg, you're gonna feel like it's an anchor. So an anchor goes quickly down, right? You wanna control that on the descent. So I wanna keep my back nice and flat. I don't wanna sag, I don't want my arms to be, I want my arms to be straight, I don't want them to be bent. And control. If you notice, I'm not going back down to the mat with my knee, I'm leaving it a little bit elevated off the mat. Now when I lift it up, I don't wanna twist. I want to try to keep my arms as straight as possible. We're almost there. And one more. 
a lot to think about in this exercise. While we're um, waiting for the 20 seconds, I have my back nice and flat, hopefully. My arms are below my shoulders. And when I lift, I want to keep my body um, square with the mat this way. Okay, get ready. Get in position and go. So you're definitely going to feel your glute activated on this side of your body. Up and down. <sighs> Trying to elevate it and breathe through it. This is great if you have lower back issues too. It will definitely help strengthen your lower back. You want to keep your glutes, your hips, your abs all in shape to help with that lower back. And control. Up and down. We're almost there. And one more. All right, we're gonna switch it around to the other side. We'll do 40 seconds and 20 seconds off and do it twice on this side. So again, one side tends to be easier than the other, so you might feel a little imbalanced. Try to find your center of gravity, use that core. Let's get in position, hands under your shoulders, back is flat, and let's go. So lift and down. You might have to readjust this leg. It might be too far in or too far out. Just make sure it feels comfortable so you can keep that stability. Keep those arms straight and lift. Now, I've always said this, you should never feel pain when you are working out. So if any time during an exercise you feel pain, please stop. If you might feel fatigued, that's okay. And you might feel challenged and that's okay. But pain, no. We're almost there. And one more. Got one more on this side. So there's a big difference between pushing yourself, challenging yourself, and fatiguing out. That's what you want your muscles to do. But feeling pain, like instant pain in an exercise, you should absolutely not be doing that. All right, we're almost there. Last round on this. Get yourself in position and go. Lift and come down. Keep that head in alignment when you can. I know we got to look at each other, but try to keep it back in alignment. I'll count you down at the end. I always liked hydrants. I always felt they were working my core and my glutes really well. Feeling that in your guts? <laughs> keep going. Arms straight. You might feel, find yourself fatiguing. I am trying to concentrate to keep those arms straight. Lift. We're almost there. A couple more. And let's do one more. All right. Let's take another pause while we take off our ankle weights if you have them on and take a quick drink of water. And then we are moving down to our last exercise. I'm going to take a drink. Okay, so I decided to take off my ankle weights for this. If you wanted to keep them off, we're gonna be back in this hand position, but we're gonna cross our leg over and we're gonna to touch it out. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. If you are finding yourself fatiguing because we were just on our arms, um, go back to those bridges or do crunches. Either one will work. All right, I'm getting in position. We're gonna put 40 seconds on the clock. I'm starting with my right leg out. Let's go. So I'm crossing behind and then I'm coming forward. So I'm hyperextending that leg. I don't want to twist my body though. I'm just coming out to here, go as far as you can go. So back and forward, keeping those hips square with the mat. We'll do the other leg after we finish this side twice. Keeping those arms straight. So you're probably thinking, or I am too, you did, Sharon did two bridges and now we're doing two on our arms. It's okay. We're just fatiguing out our sides and control. Whew. We're almost there and one more. Okay, we're gonna do one more on that side. Go ahead and stretch back if you want. Reach. Now our muscles are warmed up so we can stretch a little bit. Come back up, shake out those arms if you need to. Let's get in position. Right leg again we're doing, crossing over and then out. Ready? Let's go. Cross it over and then all the way out. Nice and control using those glutes. Feeling it on the back of your hamstrings and in your quad. 
Try not to lean. Keep control of it. And breathe through it. So you'll be feeling that on your outer thigh muscle. So when we're coming out, we're actually helping open up our hip flexors. I don't know about you, but those are one area in my body that are always tight. We're almost there. And one more. All right, we're gonna flip it around two times around and then we're gonna go to stretches and then you'll be done. We'll get this all done. So again, I'm out here, gonna twist and come out. All right, let's get in position. Take a deep breath. Get ready, leg out, and let's go. So cross over and come out. So one leg might be more flexible than the other. That's okay too. And keep going. I'm just crossing over. And today, for a little bit of difference, we're gonna stay on the mat for our stretches. I like doing stretches on the mat. Twist and control. Feel that twist in your core and in your glutes. Strong glutes. We're almost there. And one more. Great. Shake it out. All right, come on up when you're ready. Get your water if you need to. Get in position. Take some deep breaths. We're on the home stretch. So I hope you're feeling that in your glutes as you're crossing over. Let's get started. Now cross and come out. So as soon as I come out, I can feel my glutes activated here and the back of my hamstrings. That's what we're targeting, along with that strong core. Breathe through it. So definitely when, with our videos, we, can, we mix up cardio, we mix weight training, isolation exercises. I like variations in my workout and I hope you do too. And pull. We're almost there. Great. Okay, we are all gonna stay down here on the mat. I just wanna get a quick drink of water. Please do also. So one of my favorite stretches, especially after I work out, on the mat is to lay on the mat, which is a great idea because now we're exhausted from working out. We're gonna bring our arms overhead and our legs are straight. I want you to push that core down to the mat so I don't want you to really have a gap in your back. I want you to have your arms overhead and reach with your right arm as you push your left leg, uh, right leg away. So this side of the body is stretching in opposite directions. So pull and pull the other leg away. And just breathe. It doesn't look like much, but I hope that you all are feeling this, that nice stretch down your body. Now push that core down as you stretch a little farther away from yourself. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side. Take your left arm, you can leave your right one up too if you want. Pull away your left leg and your left arm at the same time and push that core down to the mat. Reach overhead and you gotta feel that nice stretch on the left side of your body. I'm gonna leave my hand here to help push down my core. Reach a little farther up. All right, so now we're gonna take our legs and we're gonna grab our knees and hug them. Take a deep breath, pull them in towards your chest. I want you to take your right leg, put it down on the mat. Your left leg is here. You're gonna pull it in again. We're just um, isolating this muscle. Now lift that leg up and pull it in a little bit. You're gonna feel a nice stretch on the back of your hamstring. If you'll notice, I'm not very flexible. My legs are probably the tightest thing on my body along with my um, butt. All right, now bring up your right leg at a 90 degree angle. You're gonna put your left foot on your quad, your right quad. I want you to take your left hand, push your knee away as you push, bring your leg in. So you're gonna feel like a pull and push. And you should feel that right in your, um, this leg, you're gonna feel it down to your inner thigh and push away. And it might feel a little bit tight, but breathe through it. All 
All right, so now I'm gonna put my left leg down and bring my right knee in. So I've ever gone for a massage and when you're in a massage, they hit that right spot and it's a little painful, but as soon as they massage it away, it feels better. That's what these stretches are for. So pull that in a little bit. Let's bring our leg up and pull it in. And breathe. Okay, left leg up at a 90 degree angle. Take your right foot and place it on your quad. I'm pushing my hand on my right knee and pulling my left leg in. Again, I'm feeling that stretch from here all the way down to my glutes. We did a lot of glute exercises today. Push it away as far as you can. I'm feeling the tightness in my leg and hold it. All right, so now we're gonna flip over Come on, all your hands and knees, and I want you to lean back and come forward with your hands. Take a deep breath. Come on up. I want you to arch your back and then drop it. Arch it up like a cat. Yes, it's a yoga pose. And come down. I'm gonna come back on my knees one more time. We're gonna head up and do some more stretches up um, off the mat. Let's go continue some more stretches up here. All right, let's stretch out our arms. We definitely engage them in this workout. I'm gonna bring my right arm across my body, hook my left arm, and then pull it. So I'm pulling this back muscle right here. And hold it. Take a couple deep breaths. Let's bring that arm up and over. Stretch out that tricep. and bring her arm the other way. So left arm now, hooking it, pulling on that back muscle right here. Bring that arm up and over, take a deep breath. Let's take one more deep breath, all the way up and come all the way down. Congratulate yourself for getting through this workout. It was definitely a lot of butts and guts. Thank you for working out with me. Remember to visit my website. Again, I have some useful information on there. Remember to subscribe to the channel. We'd love you to join our community of fitness enthusiasts. Hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted when more videos are coming. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please leave those comments. Whether it was, I did it today, I felt great today, whatever you wanna to comment on and I'll see you on our next workout.